folks all the way up here as Krugbo and Hayes have already taken the stage because they've already played game one, uh, not listening to production and not understanding how we work things here because he's a K-Rule man and a Diddy man. They're just ready to go right at it. Enemies to enemies to the very end. <laughs> they couldn't get their hands off of each other. They couldn't stop scrapping even for yep. a moment. I was gonna say, it's a little bit of a reverse situation to have game one happen during a production break, but you know, these two just monkeying around a little bit, going a little bananas and making it work. But early on into game two, that's a quick 50% out of the gate from Hayes. However, just like that, right, all it takes is one or two hits from Cable to bring it right back. But again, we're seeing Hayes with these beautiful advantages in big stakes UBL. I'll yeah, it, it, I've never worried about Hayes' combo game. I'm mean, almost never, because I can see him do this on the best of players throughout the entirety of Tri-State. What I'm constantly worried about is Hay from Hayes is closing out the stock, not getting anxious, uh, not pulling the trigger too early. Because if you do so against K. Rule, you eat something like a dash attack and can close, which can close out your stock at 120, no questions asked. Hayes able to find that forward smash at the very end, though looking like they can hold a lead but playing still uber aggressive and watching that turn into a quick grab which then pivoted into an up smash a good read on the part of Krugbo who throws out the taunt which may or may not be a misinput honestly can't say because Krugbo is playing with a little bit of swagger the last fusion arcadian that uh, Krugbo attended he got a whopping third uh, excuse me fourth place and I mean, he's he's currently on pace to you know try and repeat that performance here, but he's definitely trying to put a stop up to it. Though he's he's down 1-0, so Craig Boat making a good start on trying to do that. He doesn't have his crown here, but gonna find it with that air or with that back air coming out out looking for the cannon in ball conversion, but couldn't find it. It and again, right? This is Hayes doing so well with these advantages they, 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 you talked about and. He, he's speaking of that that you, you mentioned him closing out his stock in the struggle and playing that hyper aggressive. You you do hero into K rule here in top eight. That's some some brutal luck if you if you really just are a hyper aggressive player. A little bit, especially given how uh, Diddy Kong's penchant for like doing well against the established metagame, like Rob, no problem. Joker, easy peasy. Aegis, a little a little uh, taxing, but definitely fine. Dug hunt, what? K rule? Um, okay. <laughs> it's a, it's just a little bit awkward, and Diddy's weird matchup spread is one of the definite things that holds him back on a macro scale. On a micro scale, though, K rule is K rule and Krugbo are looking like they really need to stop the bleeding here. Unable to fall through the platform in time as another monkey flip comes out, and I do have to correct myself uh, immediately. Uh, Krugbo did get third at Fusion Arcadia number two, so looking for more than just a repeat performance. Yeah, no, do, trying to do, push this as far as he possibly can, but he still has two stocks to go and getting caught by a monkey flip isn't going to do it. That being said, Cable is one of the biggest of boys. Plays pat in that belly, finding his way back, and a dash attack to take the stock. Even though he's 152 to nothing, all it takes is a couple hits from Cable. But first, you got to get out of the corner, UBL. Yeah, and there's one way to do that. In that case, the jump, Cable's Nair, safe enough, looking for a banana toss, but ended up getting caught by the monkey flip. I liked what uh, what Krugbo was going for there as the roll. He gave it up. He gave up the roll and gave it straight to uh, gave it straight to Hayes for that game number two. Still in best of three territory here, as the coaches convene. Yep, this is one of the exciting parts of Arcadia, right? Not only do you have no players who've made a PR eligible to enter, but you also have, have I think, you have more people who are bringing coaches to the, for to the forefront here. More pl players definitely looking to get on in the spotlight here. M mark that breakout performance here at the Fusion Arcadian and really trying to put it all on the line. Both these players... You trying to get coaching, do that to the best of their ability, and take this game three set between Krugbo and Hayes. And honestly, that that role you talked about earlier too, um, it, it didn't even feel like like it felt like he kind of just what is this? he got he was in shield and he panicked a little bit. He was like, oh god, what's what's Hayes gonna do? I'm gonna roll away because he's gonna come towards me. And Hayes said, I'm just gonna react to you. And yeah. not to mention you, the proximity you... of banana there, that was also like literally right next to Krugbo's shield. 
one of the biggest things I've been seeing throughout the day, though, is players not willing to take some of those tougher situations a little slow. Like a lot of shield standoffs, a lot of moments where players want to set up their offense. But it's okay to just sometimes like drop shield, turn around, pull up shield. Like take a moment to let your opponent breathe because at the end of the day, picking an option second often lets you be a, a little bit more uh, high percentage uh, in those scramble situations. And K rule can certainly thrive in said situations. Yep. To quote, to quote um, a a really intelligent player from Connecticut called Hindsight, doing nothing has the advantage of giving you access to everything. And oh. right, that's exactly what you're talking about with the active play. But the banana camo K rule pick out here by Krugbo here on PS2, the home of every game this set. These two players definitely feeling agreeing with the sentiment that it makes the best games and. Krugbo showing he knows how to use a banana too. Down throw into Dashak, just barely not taking the stock. But the neutral B sucks you in, sends you out all the way to the blast zone. And it's Krugbo's first stock. This is where Hayes really has to show that he can absolve that shortcoming of his, that he can play patient, that he can say, okay, I'm not gonna get hyper aggressive. I'm gonna find my stock. I'm gonna close it out and I'm gonna keep this book. Because if he lets this one get away from him, it's going to be hard to bring this back against Kayrule. Absolutely. The, uh, the Kayrule uh, current gameplay from Krugbro is being super poignant with these crown tosses and extra liberal by just, hey, I'm going to throw out some of these big buttons in order to contest Diddy Kong's common uh, straight hit kill options. And as long as you play in a somewhat aerial way, all you're looking to hit is or all you're looking to avoid is some sort of anti-air. In that case, it was up smash dropping shield too early. But even then, that's on Krugbo, and you know you can survive stocks even longer because of it. Shout out to Kirby Dad in chat, by the way. Like, Able fans uniting here at you know, in the Collision Series chat and watching Krugbo go to work and try and get yet further here in the Fusion Arcadian. 117 to 31 as the percentages, and Hayes looking to make a run. Yep, no, he's looking to make it even up the game, excuse me. Yeah, no, he, well, I mean, he's making a run on Krugbo's percent here. 89 unanswered. His advantage that you were talking about coming in so clutch here, that F smash not quite finding it. 118 again, right? Cable is so Ooh. heavy, but the down air spike sending him all the way to the blast zone. And all of a sudden, it's Hayes bringing it all the way back to a lead and looking to extend this percent wise, make it happen. But the down throw into a dash attack, again, not quite going to take the stock. Same situation we saw on the other side, but this time with no rage. And this is Hayes' advantage state again, UBL. It finally is paying dividends. In that earlier spike, taking a deep breath and knowing I've got to hit this banana super late to contest K Rule's up special and did so. Applied the counterplay perfectly and then allowing themselves to snowball just that little bit. The coverage utilizing K Rule's crown against him and taking away that huge neutral tool tossed up in the air, juggling two items like it's Smash Brawl. We're going back 10 years. But it's still the same top tier as Krugbo misses the air dodge, shakes the head with a fist bump put out as Hayes turns on the Jets and moves on straight through Krugbo, taking himself into top four with a dominant latter half of game number three. And, and that's like and the way you got to play against K. Rule. No respect at all. Take away the crown and turn all every inch of that big body into a liability and i was just saying despite the best attempts at alliterative excellence uh, in in the pokemon stadium from king k rule there there ultimately Hayes' advantage state just kind of proved too much but for krugbo there and even though krugbo was doing a really good job when he kept him out forcing him to play patient and really taking advantage of Hayes' over aggression at the end of the day with how good Hayes' advantage state is if you're playing a character with that big a body, you're just going to take 100 if you get hit once. And Hayes really did make the most of those openings, especially in that game three. And that's why he ended up, he ends up being the one to move on and Krugbo bowing out in those quarters. Still a fantastic performance from him all the way through. Oh, yeah. It's hard enough to make it that far in general, let alone playing k Rule. k Rule. <laughs> Bandit's got some, got some competition for best k Rule in the state. And right now, 